okay, so at least in, until he's accountable to that vulnerability or to working on that issue or having that issue, then we can't really cover any ground or make any improvement. The whole purpose of being vulnerable is to have better progress, therefore getting better results. That's in school, that's on the performance field, court, whatever you're doing, that's in your work, that's at home with your parents, that's in a relationship. Until we can admit our weaknesses, our downfalls, or our issues and be vulnerable to them, that means give in to what those are, admit them, stop resisting them, or the other thing about that is letting go, letting go of some of those issues or accepting not understanding all of it or why and then being able to go, okay, like I don't need to hide this anymore. I don't need to hold this in anymore. I don't need to bear this weight anymore. I thought that I had to understand it before I could let it go. I thought that I had to, you know, I thought it was my fault. I'm just gonna tell you, we're human beings. It's not your fault, okay? We're all perfectly imperfect. We all have a purpose. We all have to figure out what that purpose is and at some point that purpose is gonna come to you. But wherever you are at that very moment, that's where you're supposed to be. And whatever is going on, whether it's great or it's difficult, that's where you're supposed to be. Difficult times forge us, kind of mold us into, into that next level. And if we're paying attention and we're being vulnerable to life and to being a human being, therefore being vulnerable to our downfalls and our imperfections, that gives us the very opportunity lies right there in front of you to go and be better. And when I say better, it might be happier, it might be more at peace, it might be having less anxiety, it could be simple things like sleeping better at night. If I get more sleep, my body has more chance to heal, my mind has a chance to get rest, therefore I'm gonna be better in school the next day, better on the performance field, wherever I am, I'm gonna be better. I'm giving myself the best opportunity to maximize my, my potential, both personally and professionally. When I say personally, I'm talking about your self-happiness, being comfortable in your own skin. Okay, when I talk about professionally, I'm talking about schoolwork. I'm talking about business on the sports field or the sports court or whatever you're doing. If you're at the college level and you are, let's say, playing a sport at that level and you have a scholarship, then you're being paid to show up and deliver a product. That product is a positive attitude because I can control that. That product is possibly being vulnerable because if I'm vulnerable, I'm open to the constructive criticism from a coach. I'm open to, you know, even the opportunity of failure. I'm not so afraid of it. Does anybody like failure? I like failure, said no one, okay? I can't stand it. I don't become friends with it, but I shake hands and I respect it. And I'll tell you why, because you're gonna learn a lot from failure. If you're vulnerable or open to learning the lesson that it's there to deliver you, okay? So being vulnerable, yes, it can become a superpower, but being vulnerable can also make you a more compelling person. Compelling because people that are vulnerable are pretty rare actually. Not a lot of people are comfortable in their own skin to be that vulnerable. I don't mean running around crying to everybody and pouring your heart out at every single person you meet, but I'm talking about being vulnerable to the moments that you have in life, being vulnerable to the people you choose to surround yourself with. Let them know you. You know, be open to the constructive criticism from a coach or the different direction, maybe from a professor or a teacher. Maybe be open to the needs of someone you love in a relationship or a sibling or a parent. But being vulnerable is definitely a superpower. Okay, so vulnerability, high on my list. Okay, please. Be open, be human, take the weight off of your shoulders, let it go, and be vulnerable to the moments that you're given.